Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about something that riles me up to the max, uh, and that is TikTok dropshippers. And yes, I, I am playing Garfield Kart because the world is on fire and nothing matters anymore. I have spent a week inside uh, pretty much only seeing I'm Alex, which is enough to turn any man insane, and it looks like I'm going to have to be doing this for a while longer. Also, I found out that there's a sequel to the classic original, so I had to get it and put it in the background. Although, this, this game is basically impossible. I played it for all of about like an hour and a half, and so far I've won one race. It's it's supposed to be a kid's game. Like I could put in the performance of a lifetime, Formula One tier stuff, and I'd still come fourth. So yeah, I, I don't want to see anyone uh, telling me off for coming like fourth in some races. Uh, cheers. But what we're going to be talking about today is those annoying preachy drop shipping types. I think they're the next Jeff Bezos because they sell dodgy watches from AliExpress via Facebook ads. And they are always, always constantly on your For You page for, for whatever reason. I've never once liked to TikTok about drop shipping, yet it's all over my For You page. Now, if you don't know what drop shipping is, I, I basically just described it. Basically, what people do is they order a load of product off a wholesale site like AliExpress and then ship it directly from the factories in China to their consumers. So there's no warehouse space or anything. That's like the, the general gist of it, I, I think. Loads of people see dropshippers as scammers because they're just upselling a product. But realistically, I, I I wouldn't consider them scammers because basically that's what that's what every business does. They take a product and upsell it. I don't really have a problem with the practice itself. I just think the people that do it are really, really annoying and preachy. They might even be even more annoying than them irritating taking forex losers on instagram that always seem to have a course on how to get rich for, s for some reason by the way i'm just gonna say this right now most of the court like 95 percent of them are just straight up cons usually all the information they provide is readily available on the internet already and some of them i hear are charging tens of thousands as, as well which, which is just mental but yeah i'd never buy a course on something like this so for this video i've decided to enter the curse land that is hashtag drop shipping on tiktok god, god help me The people who told me I was crazy when I decided to start my own business instead of working a nine to five. Clowns. No one ever said that. It's like the whole thing of, oh, my, my teacher said I'd never be anything. No, they didn't. You, you're just making it up so people can go, damn, this guy overcame so much. He really, he really did come up from the mud. But no one, no one said that to you, mate. Stop lying. Do you know what everyone's response to their friends or peers starting a business is? Cool. Good for you. Hope it goes well. Nobody's ever gone, ha ha ha, you're starting a business? What a moron. Now, at first, after watching this TikTok here, I thought it was a parody because surely no one is unironically this much of a loser. And you can't even hear the background music because it, I, I think it's copyrighted. But the lyrics are just, bitch, shake that ass on my dick over and over again. So instinctively, I thought this was a parody. I thought it was taking the piss. But no, that, that's just a common theme with these videos. You think they're jokes till you take a deeper look into their profile. So let's see a, a couple other TikToks talks this entrepreneurial mogul has posted guys i need your help figuring out why i can't get a girlfriend i mean my face isn't that bad is it i'm not the most muscular guy ever but i'm at least in decent shape shut, shut up shut up i'm not bill gates by any means but i definitely can take care of two people i respect women and oh that's why <laughs> no 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 no, 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 I refuse it. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe what my ears just heard. Yeah, lads, if, if you want to get a girlfriend, just have no respect for women at all. Okay, okay, and okay. People making fun of me for not getting a regular job. Me making bank from my e-commerce business. Like, no one is making fun of you for not having a regular job. I'm assuming they're making fun of you for, for TikToks like this. Stop confusing being busy with being productive. A lot of my students have this issue where... Oh, of course. All right, okay, cool. Of course he has a course. Of course he has a course. And you can tell just from the way he said all that. He thinks he's Master Chief for your science. He taught a couple of gullible idiots how to drop shit. But let's look at his course. I'm I'm curious. Oh, he's, he's called it an academy. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm going to Harvard. So how much? Oh, all right, $356. And he calls it an investment. That's how he gets you. He calls it an investment because it's an investment in yourself. It's not. It's really not. Like, how can you watch this clip here? Guys, I need your help figuring out why I can't get a girlfriend. I respect women and Oh, that's why. I'm think giving $356 to this guy is an investment. You can't even try it without paying 100 or so first because this whole thing is non-refundable, which should just be a red flag in of itself. Actually, hang on, what? The payment? What? Hang on, let's add up all the payment plans. Sorry, I've just noticed this. All right, okay, okay. So we got uh, that, which is one time investment, one time investment. Then we got the payment plan. Four payments of $116.40. All right, 116.4 times four. 
400 what my guys adding like a whole third interest onto that are you mental stuff like this genuinely gets to me because it's not a scheme targeting the rich who can afford this it's targeting people with average to below average incomes that are desperate to change their lives and they see people like this who are doing relatively well from themselves so some people will look at him and think oh wow this guy's got all the answers i will pay him an arm and a leg to learn off him like, this guy could be a, a great guy he could have compiled all the information very nicely i wouldn't know because i'm I'm not a moron, so I'm not paying for this. But the fact is, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of schemes exactly like this. And for most of them, you can just get the information on YouTube for free. You don't need to pay this much. Normally, I put a serious message like this at the end of the video. But I'm putting it here because, seriously, do not fall for stuff like this. I'm fully aware I'm making a very serious point while playing the Garfield cart. But my point still stands. <laughs> quick one you're not a millionaire just saying that now because first of all you need to deduct like platform fees you need to deduct your taxes you need to deduct the price of the actual product shipping advertising as well which is a big one but realistically i say this guy has at most like a third of that you know it's still good but he's not a millionaire guys this is ten dollars now are you telling me you seriously would rather give away an hour of your life for literally just ten dollars what I'm trying to say is it's almost 2020. There's no reason for you to work a job that you hate, right? There's no reason for you to go to work at McDonald's for a whole hour and only get paid a few dollars. He basically just said the equivalent of, why are you poor? There's no reason to be poor. Just do what I did and you'll be rich. Like, could you imagine that? If I went up to one of my mates who doesn't earn much money and they were talking to me about their struggles and I just went, why don't you just make YouTube videos? That's how I make lots of money. Like these drop shipping types are so stuck in their own bubble. It's mental. Like I get it. If you've got the free time, the money and all all the, all the extra resources to go and do something like this, then go for it. But a lot of people just don't have the time, don't have the money to invest it in something like this. Because from what I've seen, dropshipping can be a massive risk because you need to place orders for a lot of product and then basically rely on your marketing expertise to sell it. Also, some people just want a nine to five. $2.6 million in under one year. I teach my students the dropshipping business model. Oh my god, shut up. Just sh shut up. Seems like every man and his dog has a course now. Like, I might as well start one. A one-time payment of five billion, where I teach you how to become the best YouTuber you can possibly be by one, having absolutely no social life. Two, having absolutely no social cues. Three, lying in bed till four in the afternoon. You see, that was another prime example of something you'd think it was a joke. I thought it was a joke right up until the very end. You think it was a joke, especially at the bit where he said, find a China product through AliExpress. Find a China product. I now have also taught over 3,500 students what I learned to get where I am today. I want 100,000 students by the end of 2020. So this is the third person with a course we found. And if 3,500 people have paid this randomer on TikTok to learn about drop shipping or whatever. God help us. Was like, why, why is he lying <laughs> his cash and his um, designer slides up like that? Like they're an 11 year old showing off their Christmas presents on Snapchat. And I love the fact he's just got a water bottle. Why? Okay, I get it. You, you bought a two pound bottle of water. Water. Great. All right. Good for you. I now want to buy your course. Oh yeah, mum. Can you can you just film me with my hand on the steering wheel of this car I don't own for an awkwardly long amount of time? Oh, the, the kids on TikTok will love it. They'll they'll buy my course. All right. Now we got another TikTok from the the, the bloke that was uh, flexing the water bottle on us. <laughs> All right, okay. But will you just work a nine to five like a peasant? Ugh, imagine working a nine to five instead of uh, being really cool drop shipper like me. Ugh, what, you make society work? What, you are beneath me. I am a sick drop shipper and I have a really cool watch and a penthouse. Also, if you, if you see someone use that emoji, like block them, block them. There's a 100% chance they're just a waste man. This is what we're looking at. It's like a trend I've been seeing a bit on TikTok. Like people will tell you how to get to a million dollars. 
$15. And it, I, I don't know why they do these as if it's something groundbreaking. It's, it's basic maths. This guy's written out on a sheet, a $200 product to 5,000 people. Uh, a $500 product. Okay, first of all, do you know how hard it is to sell to that many people? Especially a product that expensive. And even if you sell a $200 product to 5k people, you still got to cut off all your expenses and stuff, which is going to be the large majority of the money. So you probably want to times that number by at least four. And at the end of it, he's like, oh, wow, all the, all this equals a million dollars. That's all you need to do to get be a millionaire. All right, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Please don't send any hate over to anyone featured in today's video. Uh, it, it's just unneeded. And also, don't buy a course. That if, if you take anything away from this video, do not buy courses off random people on TikTok. You will more than likely be getting conned. So yeah, uh, stay safe and uh, I'll see you later.